It's Black Friday. Well, not quite yet, but there's tons of Black Friday sales currently on the internet across all the 3D printing websites, and you wanna know what deals are good or which ones you should avoid. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank, and this is a very quick and weird video. First off, my editor will not be able to get this video done in time, so I am editing it, so it's not gonna be as uh, fancy and have as much pizzazz, but don't worry about it. Second, at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about where I've been and why I haven't uploaded in a while, but that's not why you're here. You're here for Black Friday sales and which 3D printers are on the best sales, and should you grab them now or should you wait? And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Oh, okay, actually I lied. Before we get into that, um, stay tuned for two upcoming videos that are gonna be very important to this video. First up, on November 16th, I will be releasing a video about the new Creality K2 Plus, which we are gonna talk about in this video, its price point, and I am doing a review on it. So if you end up at the end of this video and you're like, that's the one I want, maybe just wait for that review to come out to give you more information. It's not going anywhere anyway. And then on November 23rd, I will be releasing my best 3D printer of 2024 video. I did one in 2023 where I talked about all the machines that I had tested through the year, which ones I recommend, which ones I don't, and those will just be supplemented and made better by this video. So I'm gonna give you some feedback on the ones I've used, but definitely stay tuned for that best printer of 2024 where I really break them down and compare them. But this is just for the current sales, just to get the information out there because I know a lot of you guys have been asking on Instagram, like, what do I recommend right now? So yeah, let's get into it. Now we're gonna be looking at a couple different brands and websites. We're gonna be looking at at Bamboo, obviously. We're gonna be looking at Creality, we're gonna be looking at Prusa, and finally, Elegoo. If there is a printer not mentioned on this that is on a Black Friday sale and you think it's better than anything I mentioned, drop a comment down below, let me know. But these are the ones I'm looking at, these are the ones I'm recommending because they're kind of the industry leaders right now, so let's see who's having some good sales. First up, let's start with Elegoo and the smaller 3D printers, because right now I think that's all Elegoo is really good for are the cheaper end printers, and I'm talking about the Neptune 3 and the Neptune 4 Pro. We're going to call this the uh, $200 range. Now the Neptune 4 Pro is 209 right now, but honestly, the Neptune 3 Pro is probably the second best small 3D printer I would recommend. $160. It comes with all the little auto leveling features. It's a tiny little printer. It's really good. Not a bad option. However, I would recommend the Creality option, the Creality counterpart to this, which is the Ender 3 V3 SE. I know it is a long title, but this is $169. And after using the V3 SE and using the Neptune 3s, this is just, the Creality just proves to be a little bit more reliable. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Elegoo uh, Neptune 3, but if you're looking at that sub $200 price range, I would absolutely go with the Nept the Ender 3 V3 SE. It's on a good Black Friday sale right now. It's gonna work out of box. It has all the little bells and whistles you're gonna need to just get started with 3D printing and the bare bones minimum. Next, we're gonna bump the price up a little bit and we're gonna go in two different directions. You have a little bit more of a budget to play with. You're like, all right, I can spend more than 200. Hopefully you can spend 300 and you'll see why in a second, or you're looking for a larger 3D printer. All the, the Neptunes and the Ender series printers, they're all tiny. I know they said mid-size printers, they're small. They're small, tiny little guys. Don't worry about them. So let's look at the next size up. For that, we're actually gonna go back to Elegoo because I still think they have two of the best option, larger, medium or larger format 3D printers, and that's gonna be the Elegoo Neptune 3, and the, uh, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus, and the Elegoo Neptune 3 Max. Now, some of you might be wondering, hey Frank, why aren't you talking about the 4 Plus and the 4 Max? Because I hate them. They use Clipper-based software, and there are more issues with it than there should be. They've updated them. It just put a bad taste in my mouth, and I still get messages on Instagram about people having issues with with the 4 Plus and the 4 Max, they print too fast. Bed slingers, in the case of Elegoo, are not good enough to print at the speeds they claim. The, the 500 millimeters a second, a bed slinger can't do that unless it's a bamboo, and we'll talk about the A1 in a second, but I'd still stay away from the Neptune 4 series in, as a whole and it's actually more expensive. So if you're looking to start printing helmets, you wanna print Iron Man helmets and larger-ish props, the Neptune, I can't keep doing that, sorry. The Neptune 3 Plus is 229. This is a 300 by 300 by 3, 320 by 320 by 400 millimeter build plate. This is huge. This is a huge build volume 
for this price. And I liked my Neptune 3 Pluses. They worked great. If you want to go add an extra $100, you can actually get the Neptune 3 Max for $329 right now. This is a massive printer for that price. That is ridiculous. Um, it's going to print slow. It's going to take a while, but you'll be able to one-shot really large pieces. These are still really two really good deals. Um, the other alternative I think I would recommend around this price range and size would actually be the Creality Ender 3 V3 Plus. This is a $400 machine and it comes in at 300 by 300 by 330. And this actually prints at the speed that Elugu wishes the Neptune 4 could print at. And it's a large format printer. $400 and that's going to give you the build volume to print things like, you know, helmets and armor pieces and really big props. The user interface was great. It's basically the K1 and K2 series just as a bed slinger and it works really well. So this is a really good deal for this right now. Um, not at its normal price. You better be better off getting a bamboo. But right now, yeah, I'd still, if you're looking to get into props and cosplay and have about 400, I'd go with this guy. Moving on to speed and reliability. Now I'm gonna start talking about printers where budget really isn't a concern. You're just looking for what do I recommend, what are good deals, and what do you want to end up with? Well, that's going to bring us to our first bamboo printer, um, and it is the Bamboo A1. This is a $300 bed slinger that can print quicker than any other bed slinger I've mentioned. The best way I can describe a printer like this from Bamboo is it's the apple of 3D printers. You get it, you build it, the setup is easy, and this thing prints beautifully. After testing this versus the Prusa Mark IV, this was giving me more consistent and better results and so much easier to use and less finicky. It's just a good printer. So if you just want to get into 3D printing and you want to capitalize on some ridiculous sales, the fact that a machine this good is only $300 this is the bed slinger to get. It's a medium sized printer, so it's not as small as the Ender 3 series, but it's also not as big as like the Neptune 3 or the Ender 3 V3 Plus. Um, but the, all bamboo printers, except the A1 Mini, are the exact same size, 256 cubed, and it can print pretty large stuff. It can actually do a full size Iron Man helmet in one shot if you angle it the right way. This machine is amazing, and if you just wanna spend $300 on anything, this is the one to get. Now, in a close second to that, if you do need a larger format printer, I am going to go back to the Ender 3 V3 Plus. It prints almost as fast as the Bamboo A1. It prints almost as nice, and it is, I like the reliability of it. If you saw my review video on it, you know I wasn't a biggest fan of the spool holder set up on the side, but this is still an awesome machine that can print 3, 300, 330, I always forget, 300 by 300 by 330 cube. So if the A1 is just a little bit too small for you, but you want that speed and reliability, I'd bump up to this thing because it's a good format and it works and it's you know, only $100 more. And now that brings us to my absolute number one recommendation in this entire video. You want what I consider the best 3D printer versus the price currently into just getting into this hobby. And that's going to be, and you guys probably already know the one I'm gonna say because I rave about it, the Bamboo P1S. It is $549 right now, which is the price I paid for my original Creality CR10S six years ago. And yes, this is smaller, but the features, speed, and quality that this machine have, it, it makes my it makes my uh, my old CR10S look look like a Flintstones car. This thing is ridiculous. I have four of them absolutely pumping out prints for my Etsy right now. You guys saw my Megatron video. You guys know what these bamboos did for me and allowed me to make that costume. This printer is everything the average hobbyist needs. We are going to talk about the X1 in a second, but if you don't need to print nylons and carbon fibers get this machine. It is turnkey out of box. It operates like a microwave. You just take it, put it on your desk and it works. Get this machine. And if eventually you want to upgrade it, you can upgrade the nozzle. And so it can print tougher materials and it already has an enclosure and it has a camera. No, it doesn't have the touch screen with the user interface like the X1. That's fine. I haven't really been missing it. I trust my P1Ss just as much as I trust my X1 carbons. This thing is amazing. The fact that it's that price right now is just do not pass it up. Um, it's a good printer. <laughs> but with that said, if you are interested in just getting arguably just the best all around 3D printer, you're never going to need to upgrade it. You're never going to need to upgrade the nozzle and it has a camera. It has a functionality. It has a touch screen. Yes. For the first time ever, the Bamboo X1 Carbon is under a thousand dollars. That's ridiculous. Now, like the P1S, 
This also isn't including the AMS color combo multi print system, but you can always buy that extra and add it on whenever Bamboo decides to maybe like release the AMS 2, maybe the original AMS will go on a sale. So you don't need to get the combo, though that is still a really good price for the combo. You're actually getting the AMS $50 cheaper because the AMS by itself is $250. So if you just add it to the X1 combo, you're saving 50 bucks. That's fun. But the X1 Carbon, I mean, you Google it enough, you'll see it pops up. It's, it's won a lot of awards right now. It is amazing. So this printer, you will never need to upgrade anything on it. It just, it'll just work. But that might be a little bit too bougie for some people because you can almost get two P1Ss for the price of an X1, even on sale. So tomato, potato, fantastic deal. And to actually wrap up the printers I'm gonna currently recommend, if you want a Core XY, a fast and big volume 3D printer, some of you probably already know I'm gonna recommend the Creality K1 Max. I have four of these. I've been using them for over a year. I did a six month update video. I'll link that down below. Um, and this printer just works. It is 310 or 320 by 320? 300 cubed, 300 cubed exactly. So 300 by 300 by 300 and it can fit a lot of stuff. It is a Core XY, it has an AI monitoring camera, it's all enclosed and it is a big printer. Is it as good of quality as the bamboos? No, but if you put certain prints next to the bamboo, most people can't even tell the difference, especially if you're printing large stuff that the bamboo can't just do. This thing gets the job done. It is currently 719 on Creality's website. It has been this price before. It actually, there was a flash sale on Amazon with this price like a year ago. I think that's where I picked up two of mine, but still an awesome deal. And it, it's just a big, fast printer. I love them. They're, they're great. And I can they do, they can do hardened materials, right? I'm not crazy. Yes, I forgot that these come with the hardened steel nozzle so they can print harder materials unlike the normal K1s. That's why you need the K1C. So yeah, these can run the tougher filaments and stuff, which is really great. So if you are interested in the larger format, high speed 3D printer, you also probably know that Creality is putting out the Creality K2 Plus. Why Max is the smaller one and Plus is the bigger one? That's gonna, just gonna get painfully confusing, but this is the new kit on the block and stay tuned for that video because it is literally sitting right behind me. I am in the midst of testing it. <sighs> Early spoiler warning, it's pretty friggin' good. It prints just as good quality as the K1. It's still not bamboo quality. It's close though. I've been getting some really good prints off of it. I'll actually give you guys a little sample of what's been printing on the K2 Plus. Um, this was a tangled spool of filament. This had nothing to do with the printer itself, but like it was crushing it. And these are off, these are just raw prints off that printer. So not bad. And Creality's CFS system, which is a new AMS system. Another spoiler, they, they made it better. Wasn't expecting that, but I like the CFS system more than Bamboo's AMS. They just made some small improvements of it. So, so far this thing is delivering exactly what it said it was gonna do. And the K2 Plus with the CFS combo, yeah, $1,500. You can just get the K2 Plus for $1,300, but this is the bigger bamboo everybody's been waiting for. And it prints super fast, the user interface is great, the camera's great, and it's been working out of box just fine. Is it as good as the bamboos? No. Is it better than the K1 Max? A little bit because it's newer. They redesigned the hot end system, which is really cool, and it has been working flawlessly. But if you can wait for that video coming out next weekend of my full kind of breakdown and review of this, I would. But uh, yeah, definitely keep this in mind because this sale doesn't end until I think December 2nd. So you have time to order this even after Black Friday. And then by that other video, best 3D printer of 2024, I'll have another week to test this thing. So I'll have a much better idea of like the reliability and if anything's popped up on it. I've been really trying to beat this printer up because I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. So this is a good printer so far. I don't know if, Creality is gonna be happy. I'm giving you that information a day before I'm supposed to, whatever. I doubt they watch my stuff anyway. So yeah, the K2 Plus, this is this is an amazing printer. It's just a little, it's a little, it's a little pricey, but uh, I think we, were, we knew that. So yeah, that wraps up printers. Let's talk about filament. The filament game has changed. I, it's, it's all the same. If you're looking for PLAs, PTs, ASAs, even the bamboo carbon fibers and stuff, just look at the websites. Um, Sunlu is running some pretty good sales. They always have ridiculous bulk sales that sometimes they don't even realize they're doing and you can double up with like coupon codes. I have a Sunlu discount code. Um, I'll try to remember to link that down below too, but they're just, it's, it's filament and they sell it on Amazon. So many brands on Amazon are just rebranded Sunlu. Uh, you'll know by the spool. Um, Esun is having some pretty good Black Friday sales too, 20% off and there's bundle packages and stuff. Polymaker isn't doing anything which is odd, maybe they will. 
So I like Polymaker, but uh, they use um, cardboard spools, so they're not compatible with the AMS system on bamboos. Uh, and bamboo is doing some bulk sales, some like filament bulk sales, but nothing I'd say that's like Black Friday worthy. Yeah, and then good old Amazon, man. Just wait for Amazon's Black Friday sales. Some of this stuff goes on flash sales. You can buy bulk and discount. I get, I get all of my filament from Amazon. All of the silks I'm using, unless the company sends me filament with the printer, I'm using Amazon filaments. And it's a tons of different brands. Again, it's all rebranded. Creality, Duramix, Sunlu, Elgu, Isomate, Amol, and Giant Arm Gee. I've used all Hatchbox. I've used every single one of these types of brands and they all print and work. Printing's come a long way, so filament's not as big of a deal anymore. Um, there'll probably be something in my Discord about the Black Friday sales. Oh yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, filament's, filament's pretty easy to parse now. Um, bamboo printers love the bamboo filament, so if you're just a bamboo diehard, I like their filament too. It prints really nicely. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about Prusa at all in this video because they're not doing any sales. There's nothing, there's no sales at all. There's nothing on sale. Um, I'm still back and forth on the Prusa XL five head tool changer. And um, it's been giving me some problems lately. So just stay tuned for that best printer of 2024 where I can really vent my frustrations on the Prusa XL. But uh, yeah, unfortunately there's just nothing there. I, nothing that I recommend, not with the bamboo being so cheap. It's hard to really recommend the Prusa Mark IV now really hard. But that's going to do it for the actual information in this video about Black Friday sales. Like I said, I know it's quick, dirty, easy. I just wanted to get the information out to you guys uh, because a lot of you are asking and hey, it's YouTube. I need to upload videos eventually. Um, there will be on my Discord, my, my Discord server, that link, you know, discord.gg slash frankly built. We do a Black Friday sale and Christmas holiday sale um, a page basically where people as they find really good deal deals on black friday post and share them so if anything if there's any flash sales on amazon if, if brands run any crazy deals we'll post them on discord so you can follow and turn on notifications for that specific thread and just get updates about it i'll also do my best to make an amazon cart for really good deals and i'll also be sharing a lot of this stuff on instagram as well so if you follow me in any of those capacities you'll be able to stay up to date on it and if you guys do see any good black friday sales or some that, that i've missed like i said leave a comment down below and i'll try to pin it or I'll add it to the description if it's like a really good deal because things are going to change. Maybe tomorrow Prusa releases a Black Friday sale. I don't know. Let's find out. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. Um, if you guys want to stick around, I will explain what's been going on a little bit lately in my life and why I haven't been uploading as much. But if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of might already know. So if you don't care to hear me rant, you can click off now. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a good day. All right, now that those losers are gone, I'm kidding, I love you all. Um, I've been traveling a lot, guys. Uh, you guys haven't seen that. I was in Germany, I was in New York, I was in London. I was, I've been a lot of places lately, so editing or filming has been very difficult, especially just with the holidays coming up, dealing with family stuff. Um, nothing crazy or bad's going on, but yeah, I kind of took October off and it was nice. For some reason, and I think it's because we're going into the holidays, my YouTube analytics, revenue, all of that has actually stayed up. And so if you guys are watching more of my videos and sharing them because of the holidays, thank you. You've literally helped keep my numbers up even though I haven't been uploading. And that is, it literally keeps my lights on. It's how I pay my bills, you know? Um, so thank you for that. Um, I, if you are an Etsy shop consumer and you've bought some stuff for me because of the travel, because of some family stuff, I fell a little bit behind on some of my Etsy stuff and I'm trying to get caught back up. It hurt, man, it hurt my ratings and that's gonna hurt me for the holidays, but it is what it is. It's my own fault. So I apologize for anybody who, had a late order, broken order, or it was hard getting in touch with me. So I'm doing my best to rectify all of that. Um, I'm gonna be doing some sales for Etsy as well, like Black Friday and holiday discount bulk deals and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. And um, 2025 is gonna be crazy. I have some really cool projects upcoming. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for everything you guys do, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. You guys have a fantastic holiday season.